Canon's gone back to redesigning the silicon in order to reduce the risk of damage due to moisture and static electricity. This might just stop our cameras from behaving like divas in humid weather or dry workshops. So how did Canon manage to do this? I'll break that down step by step. And if you're serious about staying ahead of the latest camera curve, hit that subscribe button. It keeps this channel growing while keeping you in the loop. Canon's patent application, JP2025-086226, filed on November the 27th, 2023, and published June the 6th, 2025, Canon claims to provide a semiconductor device having improved reliability against static electricity. You know how cameras are getting smarter these days? Faster and somehow even lighter? But there's one thing that seems to, well, throw them every time, or at least that's what Canon thinks, and that's moisture and static electricity. Yes, a rogue spark or a damp bit of air, and poof, your expensive sensor throws a fit. Cheers, bye-bye, and well, it's all done from here. At least, again, what we found from Canon in their latest patent application. Okay, seriously, what's the real issue here? Well, according to Canon, stacked CMOS sensors, the kind in top-end mirrorless cameras, are really layer cakes made of microscopic tech. You've got the pixel part that catches light, and the control layer underneath doing all the brain work. But in between those layers around the edges, trouble brews. Static electricity from your fingers, or moisture that managed to sneak in through all that weather sealing, can break this stuff and do so permanently. We're talking about ruined pixels, messed up colors, something called dark current that makes your blacks look muddy or gray. Not great if you're shooting wildlife, a wedding, or anything really. Canon's answer? Well, you're gonna love this. It's actually to build a moat. Yeah, seriously. Now, they're not gonna put water in it and alligators, I mean, that would actually completely destroy the sensor. Seriously, this is the new design. Canon added a trench all the way around the edge of the image sensor. Think of it as a microscale drainage ditch, except instead of stopping water, it stops static shots and stray electrical charges inside this trench. Canon also installed two special metal plugs, plug 311 and plug 312. Plug 311 sits closer to the photoelectric conversion device on the sensor. This is the part that takes the incoming light and converts it into electrical data. Plug 312 sits closer to the chip's outer edge. Both plugs connect to a wiring layer, 313, and all of it runs under the surface of the sensor package. If a static charge builds up, say from handling during manufacturing, we're swapping out the lenses in dry air. It doesn't fry the internal circuits. Instead, the charge is safely discharged along the path formed by that first plug, 311, the wiring layer, 313, and of course back to 312. And that's really good news. And so everything then is discharged from 311 to 313 to 312 out through that trench and presto, you're good. If moisture creeps in from the edge of the chip, trench 310 acts as a dam, blocking it from getting to the photoelectric conversion unit. And to top it all off, Canon cleverly designed semiconductor regions 230, 240, 250, and 260 with opposing polarities, P-type and N-type materials to stop the unwanted electrical flow. It's like installing a one-way valve that lets the current flow in one direction and only that direction. So this whole design, including the layered plugs, trenches, and polarity controlled regions is what we might call a moisture resistance or static proof perimeter defense system. Now, Canon calls it a moisture-resistant structure, and I know, neither one really rolls off the tongue, does it? But still, I, 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 I gotta admit, when I was doing the research for this one, I found this to be the most humorous one I've done in a long time, because I kept thinking of those cartoons with Roadrunner and Bugs Bunny and the whole Looney Tunes um, cast with a castle and a moat and all those antics. Anyhow, let's... Sorry, let's continue. Okay, so why does this matter to us? I mean, myself, personally, I've never damaged any camera gear, uh, lenses, or camera bodies due to static discharge, or even moisture, despite having shot at Niagara Falls several times. And as you can see here, there's an awful lot of moisture coming. And not only did I shoot with a weather seal body like the R5 Mark I, 
But I also shot with the 70D, which doesn't nearly have the same level of weather sealing. Well, what Canon's promising us here is more reliability. If you shoot in the rain or dusty environments, high static environments, Sahara weddings, well, this could save your images as well as your sanity. Then there's lower noise. Less dark current means that your blacks stay richer and clean. Good news for low light shooters and people who enjoy shooting in the shadows. Also, better lifespan. Fewer random failures, more shoots, less money burned on repairs. In short, Canon might be solving one of the biggest hidden problems. And I'm serious about it being hidden. In today's technology, whether it's a camera, whether it's a laptop, nobody fixes anything anymore. We just simply replace PCBs. Um, I actually had an Apple many years ago and they said, yep, we need to replace the PCB. I said, well, what's wrong with it? We don't know, our program just said there's something faulty. And that's why this is frustrating. So who knows, maybe you were, your camera failed because of one of these problems. Moisture somehow got in or there was some sort of static discharge. These hidden problems with modern sensors could be causing us a big problem. But the one thing that's really big here is that you don't have to change a thing to have this extra level of security. So. The next time your camera survives a wedding, perhaps in the Sahara or a dark, a damp Scottish, I can't speak today, a damp Scottish beach or a dusty motorsport event in Nevada where you're going on one of those, uh, it's a half paved track and it ha it's a half dusty track. Well, you might, you might have this tiny trench to thank you. Jeez, I'm sorry guys. I'm just having trouble uttering my words this morning for some reason. I think secretly, I just wanna get outside and enjoy the nice sunny weather. Anyhow, to close off, Canon is keeping things classy here, keeping things dry and keeping our pixels safe. The, the one thing though, can we expect to see this in the R5 Mark III or the R1? Um, well, potentially we certainly could, um, maybe even in cinema gear, but at, at this point, we don't know. This is one of those things that if they quietly fix it, quietly, we have no idea. I wanna say a big thanks for watching this video to the very end, it's very much appreciated. I just recently checked my links for the affiliates down below. All those prices still on sale at time of recording, and I'm pretty impressed by that. Uh, despite June the 1st having come and gone, Canon not only is holding on its price, um, but they brought a few of them down. We're seeing lenses up to $200 off. We're seeing camera gear, the R5 Mark I, $29.99. And the R5 Mark II is back down to $39.99 from $40.99. Good news. Nikon, the Z8, well, it's also on sale $500 off, as is the Z6 Mark III. Well, not $500 off, it's $400 off. And I want to say a big thanks to everybody for tuning in. If you're part of the 1% of the 1% that wants to know what goes on behind the scenes, click join and take a look at my new membership levels. The insider one is the one that you might find of interest most of all. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have yourself a great day, a great week, and we'll see you again soon.